Previously, we uh, looked at equations, look at solving equations, and equations have equal signs in them. Today, we're going to look at solving inequalities or expressions that do not have equal signs but other symbols. So, let's look at the definition of an inequality first of all. An inequality is a statement that one expression is, okay, if we need, we can put the words here, greater than. Uh, less than or not equal to, not equal to another expression. So one statement is greater than another expression, less than another expression, or not equal to another expression. Another uh, definition or way of looking at it would be this way, number two. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that uses the following symbols. Less than. So an expression of that, another or example of that would be uh, x is less than 4. In other words, any number less than 4 would make that work. Uh, x could be anything. Uh, it could be negative 5, 0, one, two, three, three and a half is less than four. Um, anything like that, as long as it's not four or above. Uh, another example here for the next one, uh, greater than. Uh, okay, so if I put down here, let's just change colors. Uh, two is greater than negative one, or bigger than negative one, right? So two is greater than negative one, we could use another expression would be say uh, 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 x is bigger than um, negative 3 so bigger than negative 3 or we could even use an expression that looks like this we could put 2 is greater than x put it backwards so 2 is bigger than x. In other words, x must be smaller than 2. And we can read that backwards, the same thing. We could say x is, l is less than 2. So the point points to the smaller value. Okay, we're pointing at the smaller value. The wide open mouth to the, the little sideways v here, uh, the open mouth is to the larger value. Uh, next expression, that quickly here is uh, I would say something like this x is less than or equal to 5 in this case here is less than or equal to so um, it, this expression here I could rewrite it this way I could put x is less than 5 and x is equal to 5 those two together give me x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, um, next one. Well, very similar idea. Let's just use the letter y this time. y is greater than or equal to negative 4. Again, if I wanted to write this in two parts, I would say that y is greater than negative 4 okay or okay plus I also have to add that y is equal to negative 4 because both those things could be true one or the other I put them together and I get y is greater than or equal to negative 4 uh, the last one here the not I could just write down x is not equal to 3. So in this case here, x can be anything except for 3. Okay? So that's pretty straightforward, I think. x is not equal to 3, so x can be anything except for 3. Uh, let's go down and do some examples here. And when we solve these, we're going to use the same algebra rules as we do with solving equations or expressions with equal signs. Okay, so what are the rules? Well, let's look at the first one here. 3x is greater than 9. 
So I want to get x all by itself. How do I do that? Well, I have to get rid of the 3. So how do I get rid of that 3? Well, I, what's the 3 doing? I ask myself, what's the 3 doing to the x? Well, it's multiplying the x. So my second question is, what is the opposite of multiplying by 3? The opposite is dividing by 3. So that's what I do. I do the opposite to get rid of that 3. And so what I've got here is I've got the 3's cancel out, which leaves me with just x, which is what I want. I've got the greater than, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. And there's my answer. x is bigger than 3. That's all the answers would work with that, OK? Um, that's the solution algebraically. Let's do the next one. If I want to find x, get x all by itself, I ask myself, what is the 6 doing to the x? Because it's on the left-hand side with the x, I want to get x all by itself. It's on the left-hand side there. Well, it's adding. So what's the opposite of adding? Subtracting 6. Let's subtract 6 from both sides. And what that does is that helps us uh, take care of the situation by getting rid of the x, the 6, I should say, x is now all by itself, so I get x is less than negative 7 minus 6 more is negative 13. Watch the signs. Negative 7 minus 6 more is negative 13. So again, that's our answer or solution set to the next question. Number 3. Scrolling on down here. Okay, well, I don't have any brackets to deal with, but I do have x's on both sides of the equation, or inequality, I should say. So how do I get them all to the left-hand side? Well, the, to move a term, I have to add or subtract this. So this is a positive 2x to the opposite of adding 2x. I'm going to minus 2x to get rid of it. I'll get rid of it there. That'll get rid of that. But I have to do the same thing to both sides. Get the x's on both sides here. So I get 5 minus 2 is 3x's minus 2 is bigger than or equal to 4, positive 4. Okay, well, next step, I want to get x all by itself. I got them all on the left-hand side now. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to get rid of the 2 first. Do the opposite of minus 2, add 2. Here we go, 3x, as those cancel out, right, is bigger than or equal to 6. Last step. Last step. Let's bring this down. Okay, last step. I'll get rid of that 3. So divide by 3 because I'm multiplying by 3, the x by 3 there. Opposite of multiplying by 3 is divided by 3. That's gone. And again, x is bigger than or equal to 2. There's our answer, our solution set. Okay, one more example. Again, it's the same rules we used previously in solving equations. So the first thing I do is, well, get, get rid of the bracket. So how do you get rid of the bracket? Distributive property. So I'm missing with the 4. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. The bracket's gone. Once I multiply, the bracket goes away. And I've got the rest of the equation, or the inequality, sorry, is exactly the same right-hand side. Okay. All the x's got to be moved to the um, to the right, left hand side. So let's just get rid of that 3x by minus and 3x. All right, I'm going to minus 3x over here with the x's. Okay, those are gone. I get x minus 4 and bigger than or less than or equal to negative 5. And finally, I want to get rid of that negative 4. Then I'll, then I'll have x all by itself. So I add 4. The opposite of subtracting 4. And I get those are cancelled out. And what I get is x is less than or equal to negative 1. And there is the final solution set.